eight terabytes of solid state storage for less than 500 bucks? Back in 2009, you would have paid that much for a mere 32 gigs of space. So why is it that you can get 250 times the space for the same price a mere 14 years later? Well, there's a huge contributing factor you might not know about. I'm talking about NAND cell performance, you know. NAND is just a specific type of memory used in SSDs that actually holds your data, and a cell is the smallest unit of that memory. Each cell holds a tiny bit of data, between one and five bits each, meaning you'd need several cells just to store a single letter. And exactly how many bits a cell can hold has become a crucial differentiator when buying an SSD. You see, the more bits a cell can hold, the higher the capacity of the drive at the same cost. But there's a trade-off. More bits per cell also means less longevity and less speed. In other words, the drive will wear out faster. These things happen because more bits are written overall to each cell, shortening their lifespan, and the additional bits means it takes longer for the drive to figure out exactly what data needs to read from or be written to each cell. This higher data density also means that the error rate can increase. This is because temperature fluctuations can cause electron leakage in tightly packed cells, so the controller chip of the drive has to perform more error correcting functions, slowing the drive down even more. Ugh, come on. But, spoiler alert, using more bits per cell is the primary way we're getting bigger, cheaper drives. So how the heck are we making up for their speed shortcomings? We'll tell you right after we thank Delete Me. Delete.me is a solution for the increasing issue of personal information being easily shared online without consent. You can find hundreds of online profiles sharing your personal information with a simple Google search, which can lead to annoying robocalls and scam emails. Delete.me's software and team of experts can remove this information in just minutes compared to the hours it would take to do it manually. On average, Delete.me removes over 2,000 pieces of data for a customer in their first two years. So if you want to get your personal information removed from search results on the web, go to joindeleteme.com slash techwiki and use code techwiki for 20% off. One very common method is caching, which can be done in two ways. One, by using high-speed DRAM on the SSD, similar to what you'd find in your main system memory, or two, by treating a small portion of the drive as fast one-bit single-level cells, or SLCs, by only writing one bit to each cell even if it can hold more. I can do more, coach. Put me in. For operations that can be completed in short bursts, the SSD will make use of one of these kinds of cache to keep speeds high. Data transfer rates only drop if large amounts of data have to be moved, resulting in the cache filling and the drive having to fall back onto slower MLC, TLC, or QLC cells. That's short for multi-level, triple-level, and quad-level, respectively, which can hold two, three, or four bits a piece. And some lower end drives even use some of your PC's main memory as cache to leverage the benefits of faster memory without adding cost to the drive itself. Another strategy is simply to stack NAND cells on top of each other to increase data density rather than going to a higher and slower level of cell. This has been heavily marketed by Samsung in particular as VNAND technology, where the V stands for vertical as in sick vert, bro. But how far can we go in terms of cramming more bits into one cell while still keeping speeds reasonable? Well, it looks like PLC or penta-level cell SSDs are on their way and might appear in 2025. But as you can probably figure out, each time you add another bit, you see more and more of a diminishing return in terms of performance overhead and relative capacity, resulting in PLC only giving you a 25% increase in storage. And because of the complexity inherent in increasing capacity up to five bits per cell, the drives will need new controller chips, hence the delay in getting PLC SSDs to market. And once they do arrive, they might not be all that great for folks who need to write to them often, such as content creators or gamers who frequently change out the titles stored on their local drives. That's the longevity concern we touched on earlier, which, unlike speed, may not be figured out by the time PLC drives hit store shelves. But still, PLC NAND should be a way to store unprecedented amounts of data cheaply, unless you're willing to go back to old school mechanical hard drives. I do kind of miss the little click-clack noises they'd make. 
Oh my gosh, the video's over. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Check out our other videos, comment below with video suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe and follow. I don't know if you did that last time. I'm watching. <laughs>